But yeah, spirits of people. I hadn't thought about it that way. But I see your point. I thank you. Few are willing to entertain such a notion. In that case, where have you studied? You said you'd traveled to many different places. This world, or its memory, reflects the place. Dream an ancient ruin? You may see a city lost to history. Some of my fondest memories were found in crumbling city. Whoops. Long picked dry by treasure seekers. The best of the battlefields. Spirits pressed so tightly on the veil that you can slip across with but a thought. I guess. Which ones exactly? Any place in particular? I dreamt at Ostagar. I witnessed the brutality of the dark spawn and the valor of the Ferelden one. Hey, I was there. I, saw Alex I remember that. I saw Alex and light the signaled fire. <coughs> and Logan's infamous betrayal of Kaelin's forces. Yep. What happened exactly? I've heard the stories. It would be interesting to hear what it was really like. That's just it. In the Fade, I see reflections created by spirits who are the emotions of the warriors. One more. I see heroic wardens lighting the fire, and a power-mad villain sneering as he lets King Kaelin fall. The next, what a douche! I see an army overwhelmed, and a veteran commander refusing to let more soldiers die in a lost cause. And you can't tell who's real. It is the Fade. They are all real. Why, I should eat the Fade in the first place. What made you start studying the Fade? I grew up in a village to the north. Ow. It was little to interest the young man. Especially one gifted with magic. Spirits of the Fade showed me glimpses of one that I had never imagined. They treasured my dreams. That sounds dangerous. Being awake, out of the Fade, became troublesome. Did spirits try to tempt you? No more than a brightly colored fruit is deliberately tempted to eat it. I learned uh, I suppose. to from more aggressive spirits and how to interact safely with the rest. I learned how to control my dreams with full consciousness. There was so much I wanted to explore. Well, clearly you woke up. I gather you didn't spend your entire life dreaming. No. Why? <laughs> Two reasons. But second, the fate reflects and is limited by our imagination. To find is that why you're here? One must be interested. Is this why you joined the Inquisition? I joined the Inquisition because we were all in terrible danger. <laughs> if the Earth destroyed the world, uh, Inquisitor... Sorry, everyone. Joined. I take a piss break yet again. Works. I wish you luck. Thank you. Uh. In truth, I have enjoyed experiencing more of life to find more of the faith. How so? You strengthen your body to deliver and withstand punishment. The muscles are an enjoyable side benefit. You have chosen a path with steps you do not dislike because it leads to a destination you enjoy. As have I. That's true. <laughs> well, bye bye. We'll talk later. Oh, what 
about to bring it. <laughs> oh, Dorian. Brilliant, isn't it? I suppose. One moment you're trying to restore order in a world gone mad. That should be enough for anyone to handle, yes? I then, suppose. Out of nowhere, an archdemon appears and kicks yeah. you in the head. Uh huh. What? You thought this would be easy? No, uh -huh. I was just hoping you wouldn't crush our village like an anthill. Yeah. Sorry about that. Archdemons like to crush, you know. Can't be helped. I Am suppose. I speaking too quickly for you? Not at all. You don't need to worry about me. I can keep up. Yes, I noticed that. That's good. Did you now? Certainly. If you were a black jawed yokel, you'd already be dead. I always well, it's good to know that the one behind the Venatori was a matter there. But this is something else completely. That's good to know. They say that the magisters starting the blight are just that. Tales. But here we are. One of those very magisters. A dark spawn. That's good to know. Uh, you seem upset about that. Why does that make you angry? Because the Imperium is my home. I knew what I was taught couldn't be the whole truth, but I assumed there had to be a kernel of it. But no, it was us all along. We destroyed the world. Not destroyed just yet. Last I checked, the Blights hadn't actually destroyed the world. Not for lack of trying. If they oh, were this. More clever, They'd have unleashed something that would really do the job. <laughs> oh, that's good to know. No one will thank me, whatever happens. No one will thank you, either. You know that, yes? I don't need to thanks. That's not why I'm doing this. I knew there was something clever about you. Oh, that's good. All I know is this. Corypheus needs to be stopped. Men like uh -huh. him ruined my home. I won't stand by... Oh, and... Congratulations on that whole leading the Inquisition thing, by the way. Oh, that's nice to know. Well, thank you. Ah. Uh. Drop off all this stuff real fast. And earn quite a bit of experience out of that. Oh, Liliana. Whatever you can say. Oh, that's good. The names of those we lost. You oh, not at all. I feel like very fierce. He was the one who destroyed it. We all saw who attacked us. We know exactly who to blame. I keep wondering if I could have done something different. Nah. When the first of my lookouts went missing, I pulled the rest back, awaiting more information. If this uh -huh. blade didn't sealed, they could have bought us more time. I was afraid. You don't know that. Agents. And instead, we lost Haven. Oh, we could have lost both. More likely, they would have stayed out there, died, and we would have lost Haven anyway. You don't know that. Neither do you. The could have bought Haven a small chance. My eh. people know their duty. They know the risks. They understand well, that the Inquisition may call upon them to give their lives. D we're not Dixie Cups. We're not dispensable. Our people aren't tools to be used and discarded. Your instincts were right. Their lives matter. Can we afford such sentimentality? What is Corypheus? Key phrase. We are better than Corypheus. There we go. We're better than that magister. Eliano. Your open support for the mages likely earned you enemies. Our agents eh. monitor the situation. If the most opposed can be identified, we may still turn this to our advantage. Uh, no killing, if possible. You're not planning assassinations, are you? I hope not. Oh. <laughs> That's... I applaud you for the courage to stand up for the mages. It was Miss Justinia. The Divine's death hit you hard. How did this feel? Oh, you are referring to my outburst in Haven. <sighs> I... I am much better now. That's good. Justinia was such a dear friend and... <laughs> There were so many things going wrong. Would you care to discuss that? Sometimes it's best to talk these things out. I was with a hero for Elden when he defeated the Archdemon. With him by my side, anything was possible. But there is no happily ever after. 
when the divine requested my help, Aww. I went to her. I owed her that much. <laughs> I suffered well. so much to do the maker's work. But now, Justinia is dead. I was angry. I felt betrayed. But I shouldn't have let my emotions ah. get the better of <laughs> Don't need to apologize. Don't apologize. You're grieving and upset. I understand. I <laughs> now, enough of this. Let us think more pleasant thoughts. Well, in that case, tell me a bit about yourself. Let's talk about you. Me? Yes. Well, tell me about your past a bit. What did you do before you worked for the Divine? Well, I was a bard, a Legion spy for many years. Uh huh. At the time, I also served a small cross. After the Blight, the Divine called on me to oversee her personal network. Can I become a bard? Can you teach me to be a bard? Being a bard is so much more than being a spy. It involves a keen understanding of politics. Oh. The ebb and flow of influence. The great game. The bard oh shit, I just lost it. Smile can be sharper than ha! The best way I to is to immerse yourself in it. Perhaps when this is all over, I teach you. Good. Alright, that's enough. I should leave you to your work. You can always talk to And I believe Colin is the last person we need to talk to. <coughs> oh, my leg. Hey, Colin, what you got? Uh huh. Inquisitor, I found where the Red Templars come from. <coughs> They're in full redoubt. Oh, that's good. The knights were fed Red Lyrium until they turned into monsters. Samson took over. So good to know. How do you know Samson? He was a Good Templar question. in Kirkwall until he was expelled from the Order. I knew he was an addict, but this... Red Lyrium is nothing like the Lyrium given by the Chantry. Uh -huh. Power comes with a terrible madness. You of all people should know, I ain't a Templar. The Red Templar's swarming haven were proof enough. We cannot allow them to gain strength. The Red Templars still require Lyrium. If we find their source, we can weaken them and their leader. Good think. I like finding the Red Templar's vulnerabilities before fighting them head on. You'll need every advantage against what courses through their veins. Caravans of Red Lyrium are being smuggled along trade roads. Investigating them could lead to where it's being mined. If you confront them, be wary. Anything connected to Samson will be well guarded. I... What imagine? And with that, <coughs> since we have reached Haven, I mean Skyhold, we got a lot much farther than I would have imagined. And with that, and with that, I shall. Yeah, with that, I shall end here tonight. A a good old bar a barbarian salute to anyone who who joined the tribe and a good day to all.